Hello people, this is Barry from Barry Collector, and today we want to address an interesting topic that uh, I don't really have seen anywhere in the, in the internet. As you can see, you are looking at one of my old videos, four months old, four months old, on here on YouTube, where I talked about Chillin' Rain. That video did pretty well, and I was basically saying, well, I think it could be time to buy Chillin' Rain. Now, this video is not about bragging, even though part of it, you're gonna see it is, because as you can see, here it was in 150 and today Chile Rain is selling for as low as 205 euros in the European Union and about $220 in the US. However, what this video is about is try to address what was Chile Rain, what it was all about, what were the cars in Chile Rain, what were the type of pull rates in Chile Rain, and think can I see Chile Rain in some modern set and not be like, I'm not saying all, but many PokeTubers you're like, mm, I see this car, this car looks good, this set looks good, it reminds me of this, it reminds me of that, because that's what everyone does, and it's simple, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I do it too, but here on the channel what we like to focus on is data, we like to quantify things, being myself a mathematician, so it's not easy, so if you have never seen anyone doing it, it's probably because no one has ever tried, or if I have tried and succeeded, and they found something that works, they're most likely not gonna tell you. So that doesn't mean I found something that works, but I want you to reflect, I want you to think about a few things that I'm gonna put out in today's video. So the breaking part, pretty much already talked about it. Chillin' Rain, obviously, four months ago was 150, and uh, right now it's above 200, so that's about a 40% move to the upside, so not much to add on it. And uh, there's not really much value saying to me, oh, look, I was right. But here's what I wanted to focus on in today's video. So th these are the cards within Chillin' Rain and their listed price high to low. Now, in Chillin' Rain, we have three old art secret rares, which are the old art VMAX, that's how they're also referred to, and 10 old arts V that are ultra rares. So as you probably know already, the Blazinkin and the Galarian Moltres, we have the three birds here, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno in the Galarian variant, if I, if I can call it that. And then we have the Blazinkin Alt R. Now, one thing I want to say is, before we get into some data, as you can see, there's no Tina, there's no Rayquaza, there's no Umbreon, there's no Evolution, there is no Charizard, there's no Arcus. You have a three birds in a let's call it a new variant for the Soul and Shield era. It's not Zapta of these, it's Galarian Zapdos. And uh, you have Lozinkin. In addition to that, you have the Shido Rider and Ice Rider in Alt Art form. So you have newer variants, newer Pokemons that were introduced in the Soul and Shield era that were not, they weren't the Galarian Giratina if that even makes sense. So what I'm saying is you had new Pokemon that were introduced in a new era. Why am I saying that? Well, does that ring a bell with Temporal Forces? Temporal Forces, you have new, but not so new Pokemon, and I'm talking about the Iron version, Iron Crown, Iron Leaves, Iron Boulder, which as I said many times, so you probably already know, you know, the Cobalion, the Rhesian, and Terrakion in a new form, in a new variant, Zapdos, Articuno and Moltres. Now they're not Giratina, they're not Charizard, they're not Rayquaza, they're Zapdos, Articuno, Moltres, Cobalion, Verizon, Terrakion. That's, you know, you see the point I'm, I'm making. And then you have the Shadow Rider. So here you also have the Gojin Fire, which is Entei. You have the Raging Bolt, Raikou, and you have the Walking Wake, Suikun. So you see where I'm going basically. And now I want to get in some data and talk about it with you, try to, we can have a conversation, unfortunately, let me know if you would like to, to see me doing lives, so we can talk about the market together and try to have a, a conversation as much as we can to, but uh, here's some data that I want to talk about. So as you can see, we here we have some data, not much, but I think you're gonna find this interesting. So as you can see here, we have Chilling Rain here on the left. This is probability on average out of a pack of pulling an old RV, 0.68%. Pulling an old RV max, 0.22%. Pulling a specific 
Alt R V. It means pulley an Alt R V value one zero point zero sixty eight percent out of the pack. Now, here's and I'm gonna make a video on it. Let me know if you, if you wanted to if you want to see it as well. Here where where many people get it wrong. It doesn't mean this doesn't mean that if you open 1470 packs you're gonna pull the alt rv you want that's that's not what i said that's and i think with culture and orion you had an example of it i think it was pulling i was trying to pull the blazinkan if i'm not mistaken i don't know how many packs you open. i know i i heard you open uh, a lot of them but this does not mean that if, if you open 1470 packs you are guaranteed to pull the old RV you want that that's one not it means I don't want to go into this video if you want to know what would be the math that would apply to that questions how many packs do I need to open in order to be 100% sure to pull the card I want then let me know down in the comments I can make a video on it and here probably you're pulling specific in old RV max 0.073% and here is the probability of pulling any alt art 0.9% now this is simply as you can see the probability sum up the probability of these two a little trick when the question is probability of pulling this or that then the probability is going to be higher than pulling either this or either that if the question is the probability of pulling this and that then it's going to be lower than pulling either just this or either just that here's a little trick so and then you have, we have temporal forces. So same thing, same question, and probably of pulling any SIR. So pulling just one is 1.16% again out of, of a single pack and probably of pulling a specific SIR. So the one you want and 0.11%. Now, where am I going with this? So I wanted to compare these two numbers here, this and this. I'm going to zoom out a bit so you can see them both probability of pulling any alt art probability of pulling any SIR. So the difference between those two is a 22% difference. Now, here's what I want to say when it comes to only pull rate, let's not talk about anything else. Just pull rate. Does that mean that the average price of an SIR should be 20% less than the average price of an altar in Chin and Rain. Is, was that confusing? I'll try to say it again. We have a 22% difference in the probability of pulling any SIR you want out of Temporal Forces compared to pulling any altar you want out of Chin and Rain. That's a difference. So it's more likely you're gonna pull an SIR than you're gonna pull an altar. Now the question is, given this difference, does that mean we should see that the average price of an SIR in temporal forces should be 22% lower because it's easier to pull than the average price of an alt art in Chilean Rain. That is a question. The answer is that is the answer yes or no? Well, that's not an easy answer. Why? Well, you need to consider specific pull rate for a given card. So you need to create a model with weighted probabilities. And uh, that's going to be more complex than you could consider the price of a booster box. A booster box of Chilean Rain is twice the price than a booster box on Temporal Forces. You need to consider that. So that's going to affect single prices. So my point is, even though people try to make it simple, they try to come up with some answers. It's not easy. If you want to quantify it, which is what we try to do here on the channel, it's not easy. It requires knowledge, it requires experience, it requires a lot of work and dedication. So I'm not saying don't listen to others. What I'm saying is, if you want to make it complex, if you want to make it complicated, you can. And that's what we try to do here on Barry Collector. We try to make it complicated. I try to explain it to the best of my abilities. And in the long run, we're going to try to see if any of these work. Now, as always, if you want to talk more about these, then highly recommend you join the Discord. The link in the description of this video, and it's completely free. And if you don't want to miss out on any update, then I highly recommend you subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know and leave a like. It really helps. It goes a long way for the algorithm. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.